So let's uh, start off with the third question, students. Hope you have understood the first and the second question. Let us read. This particular question is a bit uh, lengthy. No problem. Let us understand. So here in this question, what they give us? They said an organic compound A on treatment with acetic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid produces an ester B. So as soon as such question is given to you, try to write the summary of that. What did they say? They said a compound, an organic compound A. What was it treated? It was treated with acetic acid, it seems, and in the presence of sulfuric acid also. So they said sulfuric acid. What did it give? It has produced an ester B. So B is an ester. Let us write that. Then they said A on mild oxidation gives C. So the same A on it was uh, uh, means it is allowed to undergo mild oxidation. Then what did it give? It has given C. Now this C with 50% potassium hydroxide. The C was treated with 50% potassium hydroxide followed by acidification with dilute HCl. This C it was treated with what? 50% KOH. And it was acidified with dilute HCl. Then, what did it give? It has given two products. One is D and it has given A also. Here, see here. After that, they say it. D with PCL5. Now, D, D uh, was treated with PCL5 along with that. Followed by reaction with ammonia gas. Okay, then they said it was also treated with reaction with ammonia not gas ammonia it has given which one it has given a product e now e on dehydration process so what was this allowed to undergo e was allowed to undergo dehydration process dehydration means removal of water right minus water what do we get produces hydrocyanic acid it has given us hcn hydrocyanic acid for hcn Let's start. This is a basic thing. Now let us analyze one uh, everything. Like let's see how we have to solve. So this is if you get this basic idea, everything will be clear. Let's start. First of all, they have given me a clue saying that compound A reacts with acetic acid and forms an ester. That means what does it indicate? This compound A, whatever is there, because acid plus alcohol acid plus alcohol in the presence of an uh, uh, listen, uh, sulfuric acid gives ester isn't it acid plus alcohol <coughs> in the presence of sulfuric acid gives ester so a should be compulsory alcohol we have understood then what do they say this particular thing Formation of hydrogen cyanide by dehydration of E. They've given here. There is a formation of hydrogen cyanide by dehydration of E. E indicates that E should be an amide. I'll tell you how I have got. Okay, let us do step by step and understand. So A we have got methanol, isn't it? Why? Because acid they have already given me. Alcohol, I know that. So together it forms ester this is the ester let's take the basic one so here i'm taking the a part that is a is methanol ch3 oh this a what do we do we have treated with acetic acid so you're going to acid plus alcohol gives ester in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid now take out this is alcohol this is not take out water molecule h from here oh from here what do i get i am going to get an ester this part is over so this is our b what is the name of this this is called methyl acetate now this alcohol what do we do they said yeah it, it has undergone mild oxidation okay so let us write mild oxidation mild oxidation so when it undergoes mild oxidation understood yes students fine so i think uh, you have studied uh, this uh, thing alcohol and oxidation gives aldehydes that is what we have studied isn't it yes so what does it get converted this one gets converted to aldehyde Meth methanol so this is methanol Methanol gets oxidized to methanol, ethanol. What is this compound? This is C. 
A, B, C. Now they said C is again treated with 50% KOH in dilute HCl. Now let us take this. We will make 50% KOH and it's treated with dilute HCl. So what is the reaction which treats with 50% uh, uh, of uh, potassium hydroxide and dilute HCl? It's nothing but Canizaros reaction, isn't it? So this is your Canizaros reaction. So in Canizaros reaction, this is, which is a disproportionation reaction, isn't it? So in disproportionation reaction, what happens? One uh, aldehyde it gets converted into acid as well as alcohol. One is oxidized, one is reduced, isn't it? So in Canizaros reaction, disproportionation, the same compound undergoes oxidation as well as the same compound undergoes reduction also. So how does it get converted? One oxidation and one reduction. So, to the same thing, if you uh, say oxidation means addition of oxygen, it forms which product? CH, COH, see here, aldehyde and oxidation is acids, correct? Now, if I have to do the reduction, means addition of hydrogen, one is oxidation, the other is uh, reduction. So, reduction is nothing but addition of hydrogen to this, one more hydrogen if you add, this becomes CH3OH, correct? Yes, so this said <coughs> one it forms two compounds that is compound A and compound D. See here this compound A. So this is your compound A and this is compound D. One is methanol and methanoic acid. So this also proves the A part is correct for me. Now what do we do? What do they do? They have taken this compound D and they have treated it with PCL5. And they also treated it with ammonia. Yes. So what is the role of this PCL5? Basically, PCL5, it provides, means uh, it uh, supplies the chlorine part which you have seen in haloalkanes, haloarene. But in the presence of ammonia, this gets converted to amide. What product? You get HCO and H2. HCO and H2. And the remaining comes out in the form of H3PO3 plus HCl. So this is the amide form. What is the name of this? One carbon. So this is called methanamide. Now further methanamide, they said they have treated it with or it has undergone dehydration. Dehydration means I am removing water. Dehydration is removal of water. So if you remove water from this Yes, and one more thing also they said, formation of, there is formation of hydrocyanic acid by dehydration of E. This is your E product. Directly they have given, it is, there is a formation of hexene. That means how is this formed? Formation of hydrocyanic acid by dehydration of E means basically this is HCN plus water, isn't it? So how is this like? It is nothing but HCN plus water. See here, hydrogen. Nitrogen is here, oxygen is there and OH. So HCN plus water gives this. They have given a clue. Right? So this is how we have done the whole thing. So this is A, this is B, this is C and finally D, E done. They have asked me to find out that. So let us analyze once again students. So simple thing. As soon as the question is given, try to write the summary of this. Then start doing. Here in this particular question, they have given a clue for A here. We, which we, which I did just now. So write the whole layout and start doing one after the other. We very well know alcohols. Alcohol plus acid gives ester. Alcohols and oxidation gives aldehydes. And when you treat it with 50% potassium hydroxide, it undergoes disproportionation reaction, which is one, it undergoes oxidation forming formic acid and it undergoes uh, reduction forming methanol. Further you're treating, you're getting amide. When you treat with PCL5 and ammonia, and this amide further on dehydration gives HCN. This is a clue. Hope this is clear, students. Let me start off with the next paragraph based questions. Welcome back, students. Let's start off with the fourth question. Let's see. Again, a paragraph based question is given to us. Let's see how to go. So, whenever a paragraph based question is given to you, first of all, try to make a summary of the uh, whole thing. Means a chart uh, so that it's easy for you to cross check. 
So here they've given a compound A with the formula C7H6Cl2. On treatment with sodium hydroxide solution gives another compound B formula is C7H6O. And this compound that is B on oxidation gives C. C formula also is given here. Which treatment with a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid that is nitrating mixture gives compound D. This formula also is given to you. B on treatment with concentrated sodium hydroxide gives a compound E. Formula is given to you. And two compounds it gives. We need to find or deduce the structures of A, B, C, D and E. Now let us make a summary of this whole thing. This said compound A. Okay, let us write the formula above. C7H6Cl2. This is compound A. What what is done? It was treated with sodium hydroxide solution. After that, this is given compound B. What is the formula of this? C7H6O. This was further allowed to undergo oxidation and it has given compound C whose formula is C7H6O2. This compound C was then treated with nitrating mixture that is concentrated HNO3 and sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid. It has given me a compound D. What is the name of this compound? Compound D is C7H5NO4. Now, the said compound B on treatment with concentrated sodium hydroxide. So, concentrated NaOH was given. It has formed two products. One is E, that is C7H8O. This is E. And along with this, you also have a compound that is C6H5COONA. So from this, this basic thing, let us see any we are getting any idea or not. They said compound A treated with sodium hydroxide forms B. Right? So whenever you see oxidation, so remember you know the sequence, isn't it? Alcohols in oxidation gives aldehydes, aldehydes in oxidation gives acids. So this particular thing, compound B should be an acid yeah, come on B should be an uh, listen what do you say alcohol correct because alcohols on oxidation gives aldehydes aldehydes on oxidation is acids that means this compound should be an aldehyde I'm sorry the compound should be an aldehyde this on oxidation gives uh, acids done this is one clue. So B, I've got an idea that compound B should be an aldehyde. Okay, done. Compound C is an acid. That's done. Now one more thing they said. Reaction of B with C6 uh, sodium hydroxide, concentrated sodium hydroxide. It has given a product C6H5COONE. That means here what analysis you have, the compound B whatever is A, it should have a phenyl group because from the phenyl group only you are getting the COH3, C C6H5COONA. That means this aldehyde should have a phenyl group, C6H5. Correct? Yes. Now, I can, I think with this formula I can already write this B. So, I will start off with this B. So, how did I analyze? First, I have seen which is the link anyway. Then I understood aldehydes and oxidation gives acids. And this aldehyde has given this product. And this has an aromatic ring. So, this should also be an aromatic ring. Let's see that. So, and uh, first of all, A, what did they give? They have given me a formula C7H6Cl2. So, if this is an aromatic ring, this also should be an aromatic ring. Isn't it? Now, what is the formula now? So, the compound is c 6 H5CHCl2. Let me count whether I have written it right or not. They have given C7H6Cl2. So C7, 6 plus 1, 7. 5 plus 1, 6. Correct. So this one, what do we do? We have done it. We have treated it with sodium hydroxide solution. Correct. Now we have done it with sodium hydroxide solution. With sodium hydroxide solution. With sodium hydroxide solution. Basically, we get an unstable product. And this, what do we get? NaCl is out and we get an unstable product that is C6H5CHOH taken twice. This is an unstable product. 
what do we do this further solution it is solution no? further undergoes means uh, we remove water from this because it is unstable when you remove water from this what do we get h2o means there are two moles of oxygen here h is 2 oxygen also 2 h2o is taken out what is left out you will be getting a product that is this from this only c6 h5 cho so this is your b what is the formula this is nothing but c6 sorry c7 6 plus 1 7 h6 o see here they have given b here as c7 h6 o i'm right now what do we do we have taken this and we have allowed it to undergo oxidation aldehydes and oxidation what do they give they give acids so aldehydes and oxidation should give me acid with the same uh, listen isn't it benzene ring c6 h5 aldehydes will get oxidized to acids benzoic acid that's done what is the formula here formula is c7h6o2 acid now what did they say they have taken this uh, the b and they have treated with concentrated sodium hydroxide whenever you see concentrated alkali if you see dilute alkali means aldol condensation if you see concentrated alkali means canizaros reaction so what is this canizaro canizaro's reaction means disproportionation reaction isn't it so canizaro one will get converted to salt of uh, the carbo uh, oxalic acid one more we get it get converted to alcohol so what did they say when this was treated with this uh, concentrated uh, sodium hydroxide you have got two products already one product is given to me let me write that one product is sodium salt of benzoic acid plus the other product what do they give c7h8o so compulsory c7h8o means c7 from this compound only c7 is c6h5 uh, one is i told you know one gets converted to alcohol one gets converted to the salt of carboxylic acid acid plus alcohol done can zero disproportionation reaction and they said this benzoic acid is treated with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid what is this mixture this is called nitrating mixture and the process is nitration nitration what do we get on nitrating mixture using this we get the nitration product that is coh and no2 so what is this compound this compound is d and what is the formula they have given me compound d formula they have given me c7 h5 no4 c7 h5 no4 let me see whether this is right c6 is this whole thing c7 is this h5 c6 h5 plus okay this is c6 h4 this is because already one no2 has gone c6 c7 h5 no4 one nitrogen oxygen 2 plus 2 4 this is done so this is how we have to do the paragraph based question students hope this is clear i have given the whole uh, clear information the question is given i have to write the summary of this after that slowly i have to take one clue and start analyzing it so let's come back and do with the fifth question